What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, the Lakers tonight were without Avery Bradley. And then, of course, the big news is that LeBron James missed last night's game and will be out for at least probably around another two weeks due to safety uh, protocols involving, you know, uh, the situation, you know, what's going on with him. And, um, you know, the Lakers had to show up, man. The Lakers were going to have to show up against the Sacramento Kings. Uh, this is a team that, even though they didn't have three of their five starters, I believe, four days ago, uh, were able to beat the Lakers in overtime. Well, I think it was triple overtime, I believe. And um, the Lakers had to get it done, man. I mean, they're in a very precarious situation without LeBron James for about two two weeks. Uh, they have other guys who are injured as well that are part of the team. And, uh, you know, they got enough left over, man. They got Anthony Davis. They got Russell Westbrook. You know, they got Carmelo Anthony. They're supposed to put this team together uh, with so-called a lot of firepower just in case a situation occurred with one of their top players like AD LeBron without for extended period of time. So, they got more than enough to be able to still be a top team in the league. It's just an inconsistency plays this team, man. Inconsistency and a lack of commitment to defense. But in the second half, the Lakers did commit to defense, and that contributed to a surprisingly easy victory uh, in the second half, at least, for the Los Angeles Lakers. They won them with a final score of 117 to 92. And they are above 500 for the first time in quite some games. You know, uh, the Sacramento Kings dropped to 8-14. and 14. Anthony Davis had 25 points, going on with 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. He was 12 of 22 from the floor. Uh, Russell Westbrook, who's been playing a lot better as of late, had 23 points, going on with 5 rebounds and 6 assists. He didn't shoot the ball that well, but for his, by his standards, it was about average, 9 of 21 from the floor. Uh, Wayne Ellington had 9, nine points coming off the bench. Uh, Carmelo Anthony chipped in with 14 points. Dwight Howard was huge for the Lakers tonight. Huge. 12 points and 13 rebounds, 5 offensive rebounds, 2 steals and 2 blocks. Five or seven from the field. If they can get that type of play from Dwight Howard on a consistent basis, man, this team will be a whole nother on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Malik Monk had 22 points, six of ten from three point range, and Rajon Rondo contributed as well with four points and six rebounds. Um, <sighs> this is the thing about the Lakers, man. This is the thing about the Lakers. It's their inconsistency. You know, it's their inconsistency. And, you know, when you think that they might have turned the corner, they come back and lay an egg. Now, they've won two games in a row. Can they build on that? Can they build on that in what is about to become a very challenging schedule? For the Los Angeles Lakers, it's, it's at this point the first and second and third seeds, and probably the fourth seeds are out of the question. Um, I have to look at the Western Conference standards, but I believe the top three to four seeds are just out of the question. It's not going to happen with the Lakers. Um, to me, the best the best situation for the Lakers if they can get like the fourth or fifth seed, they have to go on a real run to do it. But when you look at the teams that they have you know, yet to play, um, they are still in the second half of basketball, right? In the second half of basketball, uh, they have about 59 games remaining, right? 25 or 26 of those games are against top-tier competition. Top-tier. It's almost half or at least 40% of those games 
are going to be against the best teams, the very best. I'm talking about the Suns. I'm talking about the Warriors. I'm talking about the Bucks, the Heat, the Jazz, Denver, um, the Clippers. They'll be playing a lot of those teams in the second half of the season. And even, you know, outside of them, you still have the type of teams that they can beat you on any given night. You know, the Pacers, the Knicks, you know, uh, those types of teams. I think they play the Knicks again. Uh, so it's going to be a tough task, man. A lot of road games coming up. If the Lakers can hold with, you know, can, if the Lakers can, surprise people in the next couple of weeks at least hold the fort then maybe they have a shot but i still don't see them going past the second round at the very latest man i i think it's an impossible task that not even john wick can pull off this year with the los angeles lakers you know so i think it's just impossible but you know i do want to commend russell westbrook um, he's been playing a lot better, I'd say, the last uh, eight to nine games. He's been playing a lot better. The turnovers aren't outrageous. Um, he might be starting. I'm assuming he's starting to become more comfortable. We've seen this trend with Russell Westbrook the last couple of years where he gets off to these horrible starts and sort of settles in maybe 15, 20 games into the season. So I was suspecting that might be the case this year, but, you know, you never know with Russ. Uh, but he's been playing better as of late. I think the Lakers just need to be more consistent on the defensive end. They need more consistency out of key players. And uh, they need to be healthy. And they need to go to Carmelo Anthony a little bit more, all right? Carmelo Anthony is probably, uh, I guess he is when I think about it. He's their best outside shooter, even though that's not purely his game. This is just shoot threes, but he's their best shooter. He's their best scorer, or at least perimeter scorer is concerned. Um, so I think they need to utilize him more. But that's about it for the Lakers. I mean, it's a big victory, uh, you know, I mean, in some ways. At least they have a two-game winning streak. But, you know, it's the Kings. You know, it's still the Kings. A lot of Lakers nation is going off like they beat some juggernaut. You know, it's the Kings. So the Lakers still got a long way to go. But tell me what you guys think.